I've just woken up from my slumber. <sighs> that was a freaky ass night. But let's drop my stuff off and head over to the tree and see what happened. So this tree is totally living. I mean, it's mother nature at its finest. Uh, coming back to haunt us. Oh, and this is also my third episode of the day. <laughs> because I'm, I've been really into the story. And uh, it was nighttime, and I was like, after editing the other videos, I was like, yeah. Whoa. I was like, I really want to shoot one at night. The wind. fall over it did the tree fell over oh we can walk underneath it whoa where are we got an achievement only ashes remain Sips from the cracks in the asphalt. <clears throat> a backpack. Two torches. The sign. Across our sign reads Darkwood. We did it, old man. We did it. All the lost souls trying to reach the road home. I'm not gonna fail. Like so many have failed. 25 kilometers to the nearest town. Jesus. It's really far. Damn. The road's blocked off. What about down here? Reminds me of a starting area. Epilogue. traveling for so long we're gonna even find anything out here 
Was everything consumed by the forest? ashes from the tree. It's flying kilometers out. Gotta get out of this damn forest. Civilization. Civilization. Civilization! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. There's no trees. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna follow these roads. These fences. I mean, the electrical lines. Society. Buildings. Hello? Hello? And they're gone. Who's going to eat the bread now? floor neighbor. Good day. Good day to you. It's darkness. This is my home. A mailbox of mine is located opposite of the basement stairs. This is my staircase. This is my mailbox. My mailbox. I think there's something inside. Postcard. Postcard from my parents. I'll read it later. No, read it now. Did I get that? You're tired. It's in the basement. Locked. I need a key. Doesn't seem normal. Potatoes. Potato sack. A radio. It's not dead, is it? Crap. Is the door open? No. What?
Ooh, I just got mad chills. This thing isn't dead. It's probably the work of that little punk from the third floor. Someone finally evicted them. Got any spare change? Locked. Need a key. You're waking my kid. Get the hell away. Stupid cow! Okay, let's go check out our apartment. Pleased to see you, mister. Haven't seen you in a while. still green even though I've seen I've never seen anyone tending to them maybe they feed on the discarded cigarette butts apparently someone was too lazy to bring someone was too lazy to bring it down from the stairs to throw it out in the trash Probably the work of the kids from the neighboring apartment block. The door seems to be blocked from the other side. This isn't good. Use key. No, hang on. Put in the door, use key. Neighbor's bike. We could do something with it. It's been lying in the middle of the corridor ever since he broke the kickstand. I'm not using the key. I knew it. This thing isn't dead. That was just the beginning. How long is this hallway? All right, it's not changing anymore, so I'm going to open the door. Home sweet home. It's my wardrobe. No. I should change first. Nah, man, this thing wants you to get locked. I need a key. Oh, no. Did I somehow get a bad ending? Barely staying on my feet. I'll take a bath tomorrow. The Fania washing machine. I spent two days in the queue to get it. So the note is lying on the table. I've made you some soup. Heat it up. Who made me soup? The old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. 
leave. Nah, man. I don't trust it. Hi, Sudorek. Sudorek? Missed me? Spike? Good boy. What's Spike? No. Black and white Reuben. A real luxury. Unfortunately, it's broken. I'm very tired. I prefer to lie down on a regular bed. Nah. Nah. Hold on a sec. I knew it, Spike. Examine. These roots are going out from under the floor panels. I won't be able to tear the floor off with my bare hands. There should be some tools in the kitchen. Bedroom key. Fabric. A bunch of it. screwdriver Spike's gone into the bathroom. It does, right to my toilet. And the bathtub. And my stove. And my sink. I'm gonna kill this tree. crumpled sheets look as if I'd just woken up. At last, I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey, 19 days of human torment. Look closer. Fighting off the sleepiness with difficulty, I lean over to the bed. The springs creak noisily under the weight of my hand. As I cast my glance on the light brown construction from plywood, I notice familiar features. They are elongated and arched. I can still smell the fresh sheets and the pleasant warmth of the quilt. Look underneath the bed. I feel a gentle drought coming from, coming from the dark gap between the bed and the floor. Reach under the bed. My fingertips brush a thin layer of dust, coldness, moisture. I'm touching something rough, but I'm... My arm is too short to catch it. I think I need to move the bed. Move the bed. I frickin' knew it. 
enter. Ooh, this tree really messing with my mind. Ain't gonna happen today. I, uh, the, <clears throat> to be honest, I thought we finally got to the end. But then we found the uh, radio in the basement by accident. Well, like I already got kind of creeped out by the basement. And I was like, it's a basement, so. What? My hat. Pick up your hat. My coat. Torn and covered in dried mud. They're completely destroyed. I'm, I'm straight up naked right now. Old weathered clothes. Sleeping man. The man is fast asleep. He's smiling. He's hugging his knees with skinny, dirty arms. A swarm of flies is covering a black sore on his back. Wake up. The man doesn't react. I am unable to wake him from his slumber. Sleeping woman. Dirty. Clumped her hair. Clumped hair covered the woman's face. She's murmuring in her sleep, clutching a rag doll filled with straw. And now oh, the, the moon has faded. The, 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 the night is here. The sleep stole over my doll's home. huge valley. I feel the dry, dusty earth pulsating under my feet. The figure is talking to it, talking in its sleep, moving its hand as if caressing someone with affection. The figure is dead asleep, unable to wake him. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that we're not going to, a corpse. I don't think we're going to be able to wake anybody. It's clutches a muddy brass cross in both hands, repeating some incomprehensible words in its sleep. Another corpse. My god. The figure sleeps on the muddy ground. Listen, it's on the chest of the skeleton lying next to it. child. His face is covered in mud and sticks. It clutches a shiny stone in its hand. The figure speaks to someone in its sleep, squeezing an old man's photo in his hand. The sleeping man looks like a skeleton coated in skin. He smiles widely. I hear a faint whisper. Stasiak. My little Stasiak. Sleep. Stasiak. Sleep. The figure is dead asleep, unable to wake him. It hums something quietly in its sleep, swaying in the rhythm of the simply melody. Another sleeping figure. Another sleeping figure. Another sleeping figure. Another sleeping figure. My god, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this with YouTube, but it's like literally like pulsating flesh down there. It's really gross looking. More corpses. is covered with thick bundles of dry roots that creak under my feet and old broken trees. A skeleton, Jesus. How long has this thing been doing this? Pleasant warmth washes over me. towards that. Masiek. A man mumbles in his sleep. He's emaci emaciated and dirty, but his face is radiant and calm. He clutches a rusty object covered with old beads. Some weapon? 
What is that? Looks like a pipe. <clears throat> Listen to the murmurs. The man is talking in his sleep. These are only snippets of sentences, single words, spoken gently and, so and slowly. It's hard to find any meaning in them. Push the figure. Leave. Leave. Without opening his eyes, the man clumsily waves his hand at me and then covers his head with it and freezes. Try to take the metal item from the man. Leave. The man waves his hand again. This time he grabs my arm. Without opening his eyes, he turns his head towards me. I recognize him. He's one of us. One of us what? Try to snatch the item from the man's hand. Leave. Can you fucking hear me? I want you to take... Let you, I won't let you take her. The man clenches his teeth with, with the fury of a maniac. Saliva flows from his mouth. It's hurting her. You'll tear her arms out. Hit the man and grab the item. Don't! Leave her! Leave her! Oh shit. No! Oh. Yo, you tell me this guy had a flamethrower? Oh man. I beg you. Give her to me. Huge roots block the way, even if I manage to climb them. Everything's surrounded by a steep slope, overgrown with thick roots. There's no way out. Sleep. Alright, let's burn this tree down to the ground. What are you doing? You'll die with us! Some sort of an organic. Oh no, the game is lagging so hard. My game wasn't lagging for this. I'm so sorry, guys. Wow. This is really messed up. No, I don't want to die. Oh, I just died. Wow. 
don't know if that was supposed to happen. Oh my god. I'm literally crawling for my life, man. I wish I found a way sooner. It's just my game was lagging. Damn. Oh, this is crazy. No. I was so close. Maybe I accomplished what I needed to accomplish. Great fire consumed the woods for a couple of days, gradually claiming many of its inhabitants. I don't know what ending we got. I'm not sure if there's other endings. I'm not even sure if you could escape that. The fire consumed the last road leading to the heart of the woods. The doctor who holds himself up deep in the woods, tormented by the unending and unending whispers of his absent daughter. The three outcasts wearing old rags and scrap who, grief-stricken under the enormous, completely burned tree, didn't even attempt to run. The elephant family who did not leave their house as the swamp, even as the flames started consuming it. The chicken lady crushed by the roof when she attempted to carry her sick sister out of the building. And the last living inhabitant inhabitant of the flooded village consumed by the flames at the very end of the road leading home. But not everyone perished. Piotrek did not live to see the fire. Before the flames appeared, he rose above the treetops in his rocket made of scrap. As he looked through the small spaceship window, he smiled for the last time. The Milky Way stars looked so beautiful even now when moving away at a huge speed. Wait, he lived! <laughs> yes! You did it, my boy! You did it! <sighs> a large part of the villagers survived, hiding from the fire in the vast barren clearings. When the fire went out, the incomprehensible whispers and calls ceased forever. We saw incoming helicopters above the destroyed land. We saved people, man. I mean, a lot of people died, but we saved people. The fate of the man with the wolf snout remains unknown. Wow. I totally thought P.O. Trek died because of that, that thing. This is insane. This is so cool. I'm so glad he lived. Oh my gosh. Darkwood was brought to you by Acid Wizard Studio. Yo, they're an amazing studio. And I heard that they gave away this game away for free after it came out in full release. I mean, I, I loved the idea of it back in the day, so I bought it way, way back when, when they first opened it in early access, maybe a little bit after that. But uh, yeah, wow. I'm so glad I came back to complete this. I mean, partially is, is to do it for the channel, but ah, oh, that's amazing. That's so cool, wow. Rarely does games leave me with like a 
a confused but satisfied feeling. It's a really hard thing to mix. But they, they did it just so well in the fact that they they actually made me feel like I didn't want this thing to live, but then it made me question whether or not if it was feeding the world in a better way, even though it looks so poisoned. And then it makes you think, you know, when things are poisoned on the outside, but good on the inside. Did I mess up? Only time will tell. <laughs> Anyways, um, much love, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and I think the next... Um, oh, 11-Bit Studios right here. Oh, I love them. They're really good. I think the next game I really want to uh, do a really hardcore like roleplay through is... Uh, uh, Outer Worlds, which is coming out in October. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to purchase that and record for that. Should be fun. My stuff's so old, so hopefully it can run. Um, I'm trying to save up a little money right now. That's why I haven't been like constantly uh, available. I want to save up to get a new computer and uh, you know start there and eventually get a better mic and. Um, you know, get a better setup all together. But, uh, wow. What a beautiful game, man. It had some... The sound design, too? Oh, my gosh. Uh, thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Much love, guys.